So first things first, let's go to equipment. We have three weapon slots. When it comes time for tournaments, we can only use one. But right now, all we have is this novice knife. It improves our attack and defense and has a durability of 50. It also has a tech of zero. Durability determines how quickly a weapon breaks when you're using it in combat. Throughout general fightings, you're gonna, you know, grinding along. It will automatically recover after battles. Its durability is mostly a point during boss battles. Technique is a hidden but not really hidden stat. As you use a weapon, you gain more technique with it. The higher weapon's technique, the better its durability lasts. Quite handy. Let's see, I think... yes, over here. Mystic Doors are an interesting piece of equipment. They have a special power within, and if we're crafting a weapon, we can imbue it with Mystic Ores to add an elemental attribute. It makes for a better weapon. We don't have to worry about adding, looking for Mystic Ore in our inventory. It's automatically into our materials. And we get three ones for free. Now here's an important thing. Some Guardian Beasts are not good at creating certain types of weapons. There are four. Each one can use Mystic Ores to automatically improve upon swords, because swords are the default weapon. It is called Swordcraft Story, after all. Kuti here, Kuti, not Kuti, whatever, I'm gonna keep calling him back and forth, is adept at improving axis and fist weapons. So we've got a can over here. So while crafting, if I make a axe or a fist weapon again, I can use mystic ores on them automatically to improve them and give them elemental attributes. I kind of like this because axes are nice and durable and solid, so they uh, make good defensive weapons. Tell them about this cat we saw at the port. How, since you can't switch some in beasts, at least not right now, you can do little side quests like this to get techniques for weapons that you can't improve with your summon beast. So that one, for instance was a drill because Cootie cannot automatically improve it. However, I can now craft the drill with its elemental attributes separately. I am going to attempt to get all the techniques. This is going to include a lot of off-camera grinding. A lot. But first things first, let's finish up what I can show off of this dungeon for now. The knife has a three hit combo. All knife weapons do. I can also hold down and push A to do a poke. It has slightly more range. It's not that useful though because it's only a single poke. Poke, see? But it does have a bit more range to it. Experience naturally goes down as you gain higher levels. You should keep fighting tougher enemies to maintain a high experience total. As you keep seeing, my durability is constantly refilling back up to 50 every time the battle starts. We can go down those stairs now that we've crafted this sword, or dagger really. Hoya! You can't attack in midair. Some enemies are flying. It really helps to attack in midair. Keep going in this room, and there's never anything in it. I hope I get one of the Mystic Ore things, just so I can show off the enemy type. Now, swords are a nice weapon class, they are fairly light, attack pretty quickly. Their durability is generally not the best. Ooh, a gremlin. I like you. Because you have a chance of dropping a certain item that's a pain in the butt to get.
called a matchbox. That creates fire ores, and I'm gonna need a lot of those. The X technique I picked up just now takes 15 by itself, and I need to make it again with Mystic Ore. There we go, there's a matchbox. I also need one for a quest, so I'm not gonna be able to use that one right off the bat. Aha! Tougher enemies do take more durability out of your weapons. But naturally, as I keep using it, my technique goes up with it. And thus, I will go through weapon durability a lot slower. I will just keep agility even with everything else. And some free iron ore. Always handy. Slash, slash, slash. That was a good lot of slimes right there. Storm wind. That's handy. Let's see here. Support. Oh, I got an extra magic enchant wind. But we're gonna put storm wind there for now. If you can't tell, Cuddy is wind based. And technically, I suppose you would say Cuddy favors fist weapons above all. Fist weapons do also tend to have a higher chance of having wind element throughout their trees than uh, other elements. Axes tend to have a lot of fire-heavy stuff later on. Their spears, which are a great reach weapon, tend to have water element. And drills tend to have lightning element. Yes, drills. You saw it earlier. Of course, earlier on, everything has the same element in the same tier. It's not till later on that things start to differentiate. I'm not too worried about the damage right now. Ah, good. Stormwind. Cody comes down and blows things away. Ow. Defending with your weapon also causes you to lose durability. Now these uh, Mystic Ore things here is what I just fought. Give a crap ton of experience. Oh, I have a choice. Uh, I'm going to go with defense. And always give a Mystic Ore. They come in various shapes and types and give out various amounts of ore as you go down throughout the dungeon. But right now that sword is the only one I'm going to encounter. The gremlin, as you can see, is the fire element thing. If I had water element, I could do a lot of damage to it. And cut again a level. Bottomless cup. And a broken fan. That'll give me some wind door, which is good too. I need wind door. Aha! 
Now we've hit a roadblock, literally. Yes, I know how to use a teleporter. This is an inactive teleporter. To activate it, get into a fight. Ooh, a pumpkin oh. They have a rare chance of dropping a pumpkin ring, which will improve your attack stat. Anywho, face an inactive teleporter, smack it with your hammer. That's how you activate them. Percussive maintenance. Charge! We'll zoom around here. I do not know all these little side quest thingies, so... I won't be able to craft all the weapons right off the bat. Alright, I need to talk to him. She needs a pack of matches. Here, you can have one. And we got a spear technique. Zoom! Now I took a hefty beating. Create materials from the items we've got. Two iron ore. A matchbox. Two bottomless cups. And a broken fan. No, two broken fans. Now, oh, I could create the axe. But what I'm going to do Let's show you this. So now, see, I have the novice knife here. I've already made it. I'll use a mystic ore with this. It'll take two mystic ores and the same amount of stuff beforehand. Now, it's a fire dagger. As you can see, it's a lot stronger in attack. It has a lot more durability, too. But as you can see, it sets my technique back down to zero for that. I'm going to keep the novice knife here because, as you can see, the fire dagger deals fire damage. And the goblins are resistant to fire. Now I don't have enough money to buy. Okay. We're going to save here. Level 5. And when you see me again, I'm going to have done all the off-camera grinding to gain the materials I need for other weapons. It's going to be a lot of fun. So until then, I will catch you later. Goodbye.